next cover story neighbors helping neighbors. Nearly two months after Hurricane Helene hit Western North Carolina, cleanup continues. People still in need and there are more stories to tell. One local organization is on a mission to make sure people are not forgotten. Camino was founded to help Hispanics and now the group is making trips to that area. WBTV's Dedrick Russell and photojournalist Alex Yurkiza took a trip to Asheville to see the work being done to keep people safe. It's tonight's cover story. Many look to Mission Emanuel Church as a place of refuge, and on the night Helene hit, it was. I heard a voice tell me, speak, because someone needs help. Pastor Louis says he heard a voice tell him to get up. People needed him. He's glad he did. He says he ended up using a rope to rescue a family. He took me to the place where he saw a family swept away by water and in trouble. Correr. I ran and I saw a family huddled together, holding onto branches. I pulled them up one by one, with the first being a one-year-old only wearing a diaper. After that rescue that happened weeks ago, devastation still surrounds this church and community. Down the street, this road is still closed. Across the street, many homes were destroyed. A couple of exits down, parts of downtown Asheville are still closed. The pastor says he will never forget what he witnessed. We tied him by the waist, but since the branch hit him here, that's when he fell, and that's when we thought the water was going to take him to. In addition to those images, the pastor tells me he was also busy trying to help a lady who said she had four kids inside this complex. The thing is, the woman refers to her pet cats as her kids. This troubled the pastor as others were in need of help too. Entonces, Since she had four kids, we worried about the four kids, but in the end, they weren't four kids, they were four cats. What the pastor experienced won't go away. It's been more than three weeks that when I dream, it's not like trauma, but when I sleep, you can see the panorama because we saw it so clearly. Almost two months after the storm hit, this church is still being used as a refuge. Camino has set up shop here in Asheville. It's a nonprofit that serves as an advocate for the Hispanic community. A lot of times because of language barrier or because of citizenship status, this population gets overlooked. And at Camino, our approach is we serve as the hands and feet of Christ. Jesus said, welcome the alien, welcome the stranger. Steve Sellers is Camino's director of community engagement. He says this church has everything the Hispanic community needs, from food, diapers, clothes, blankets, coats, and other essentials. The things that we think they need in the moment that will get them through until resources continue to catch up. Camino is also connecting with other Latino pastors living in the storm hit areas to make sure no one is left behind. Our research shows that when the Latino families have issues they need to deal with, they do not go to a traditional institution to start with. They will look inside their family, they will go to a faith leader, or they will go nowhere. And so we want to stop the going nowhere. Camino volunteers are going door to door to have meaningful conversations with Hispanic communities. So we're asking about things like what are your medical needs, right, for the whole family, adults and children. What are your financial needs? What are your employment needs? What are your hygiene needs? And speaking of medical needs, Camino's health center bus is also here. Neighbor XR Osman Aguila says he hasn't seen a doctor in about 13 years. Gracias a Dios. Thank God for all of you from Camino. It will be a lot of help for many people here who don't have the resources to go to the doctor or have the money to pay for it, so thank you. He remembers when the storm hit, his basement flooded, and his family was trapped. <laughs> Trees were blocking the road, we didn't have internet, we didn't have power, and we couldn't watch the news or anything. We had no communication. He says his co-worker died in the storm. He says that was a rough time. When I saw everything, it made me want to cry when I saw that everything was destroyed. He says things are getting better thanks to Camino. He is appreciative for another day of life and another day to count his blessings. As for the pastor, he's appreciative help has arrived for his community and grateful he listened to that voice and was able to swing into action. In Asheville, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side tonight. Oh, an amazing story. Uh, Dedrick, thank you.